Prime Minister, are you embarrassed by your behavior today? Not an edifying day for the Prime Minister or an institution that has seen some decidedly unparliamentary moments before. Justin Trudeau's father famously mouthed a four-letter expletive. And when you say fuddle duddle or something like that. Part of a long history of trash talking across the Commons aisle. Just quieten down, baby. <laughs> A Liberal MP calling a Reform MP. More than a slab of bacon talking there. I lost my temper. Justin Trudeau, four years ago, showing he's not shy about salty language. And earlier this month, he was accused of an insulting gesture. He certainly went too far, Mr. Speaker, when he st I saw him stick his tongue out. Physical confrontations between MPs, far more rare. Do you have the fortitude or the gonads to stand up and come across here and say that to me, you son of a bitch? Come on! We sometimes see this happening in other legislatures in other countries, and, and I've always thought when I see those scenes, gosh, you know, it's never happened in, in Canada. Just yesterday, when debate in South Africa's parliament descended into a brawl, scenes more familiar in Taiwan or South Korea or Ukraine. The chamber is extraordinarily small. People don't understand how close these members are. And I don't think they understand how quickly emotions can get exaggerated, how heated people can get. In these closed quarters, the rarely seen former Prime Minister Stephen Harper looking on and appearing to find it all a bit amusing. Justin Trudeau's youth and style has attracted media attention from around the world. This incident today, though, is already making very different kinds of headlines on the BBC, in France's Le Monde, and even the South China Morning Post, Lisa. All right, Glenn, it is definitely one for the books. Thanks for this tonight on Parliament Hill.